You know us, you know we love our Doll Strong products, and once again, they have delivered. We are so thrilled to dig Geeks. into this one. For yet another one. This one is mine, to be determined. But Brett, <laughs> talk yes. about this mine. What is this mine of which you speak? This is the Dow Strong Scorpion series. This is the Hellfire edition. Man, this is this is a beautiful <laughs> box. I Listen, can't wait to see the knife. But that name, are you kidding me? The Scorpion series, Hellfire. I mean, if it gets any badder than that, I don't want to be Good. <laughs> That's right, exactly if, right. Or should we say, if this is wrong, I don't want to be right. This yes. thing is incredible. The design is spectacular. Brett, let's dig into it. We'll talk about some of the features, okay. some of the things that we're most excited about, but I cannot wait. This is the eight inch chef's knife. Yep. And dude, let's dig. I'll let you do the honors. How about, in fact, I'll film and you can dig into that. Deal, that sounds good to me. Okay. All right, Brett, cr time to crack into this beauty. Or is this a beast? Oh, it's a beast that is so beautiful. And packaging is always I was just, just second going, to none. I was just going to say, you, you've seen enough of, enough of our unboxing videos for the Doll Strong. You know we are in love with the packaging. Go ahead and open it, and we will talk about the... Oh, <laughs> my. This is already my favorite knife by far. Of course, we get the pin that we love so much. This is absolutely amazing. And then of course, the book. All right, you get Shows all the products. Yep, all of your product detail book right there. Ooh. And you get your Doll Strong sticker. The last one my wife claimed, so and I'm now, happy to get a new one. Now, last but not least, the beast. The Hellfire, look at that handle. That is absolutely insane. Flip it over. All right, take that beast out. And this is amazing. Nice. Look at, Look the, at the detail, detail on that. It's Damascus, knife. right? This is Japanese V12 Ultra Steel. It's got a Rockwell hardness of 60 plus. Hand sharpened eight to 12 degrees. You've got your spiral pattern on, Brett. Yeah. Black Damascus blade. Look at that. <laughs> 69 layers of folded steel, and of course you've got that beautiful red and black honeycomb resin handle. You've got the full tang blade with mosaic rivet. Let's show that rivet right there. Man, this thing is amazing. You got your hand polished spine, laser etched doll strong logo, and of course, Brett, the black leather sheath with lion head pin. Let's go ahead and put the sheath away, That or put that away before this someone gets thing, hurt. Brett, like I said, how does that feel in the hand? Man? It feels absolutely amazing in the hand. It's so comfortable. This thing, amazing. So Brett, when you got a knife like this, you got to go cut stuff up. And I think we're gonna go inside, and we got some uh, we got some groceries to cut up yes. and uh, show what this bad boy can do. That's right. In a lot of our cooks, of course, we've got to do a lot of prep, and we use tomatoes all the time. <laughs> yeah. And of course, when showing off how sharp a knife is, you also should have to show off how thin it can that shave a tomato. True. You can see through the tomato. This thing with absolute effortless and the power that it absolutely and precision, has. right? It, yes. It doesn't. It do, you don't have to push or squish down on the tomato at all. The cut is incredibly sharp and. Like I said, precision, and I'm blown away by the durability. Switching yep. over to the cucumber, yep. you're able to knock that one out of the ballpark. And, and the crazy thing is, is the strength, like I said, that this has when pushing through, both the, the tomato and the cucumber almost didn't even feel like it was cutting through anything at all, because that's how sharp it was. And then, of course, the paper. This was my first time doing the paper <laughs> test. <in this laughs> We'd thing. be remiss if I we didn't, didn't do the paper test. I always wondered if people like had to fold the paper a certain way to make it just not this. I just picked up the piece of paper and it sliced right through. I was very impressed. You know, and it's really funny. So uh, after we got done like filming that whole segment, Brett was continuing to chop the cucumbers. I'm like, wait, we're done. Why, do, why are you still chopping cucumbers? He said, because it's fun to chop <laughs> the cucumbers. Fun. Exactly. This thing just chops, slices, dices. Uh, and one thing too, when we talk about this, we got to a point where we were looking for every 
every other tool that would mandolin cut, that would slice, that would make um, cutting up vegetables so much quicker and easier because we got tired of cutting vegetables. I used to hate cutting potatoes. I will tell you with the doll strong knife, cutting sheen, potatoes is one of my sheen, favorite things. It's sheen. like, oh geez, twist my arm. We have mashed potatoes again. Let's cut some potatoes. <laughs> it's so Why do you nice. cut potatoes? Because I feel like cutting potatoes. That's all. Potatoes have gone now with every single meal since. No, funnily but, enough, uh, we absolutely love it. And it's not just this Hellfire series. It's everything from Doll Strong. We've been beyond impressed from the first time we heard about Doll Strong to the time we were finally able to get our hands on a Doll strong knife i will tell you it's lived up to all the hype to all our own expectations and beyond and the thing is they keep outdoing themselves at doll strong with things like the scorpion and the hellfire the series hellfire. Oh we my cannot gosh. wait to get the entire hellfire series what a <sighs> scorpion knife yes. unreal that, that damascus is, steel amazing like i said this is my new favorite knife and is at every i say that about all all, all doll strongs but this thing it's impressive the handle the look the feel this is is my favorite and I don't know if I'll, I'll ever use incredible. any other knife. Brett, <laughs> At seems least another brand of knife. You knife. know, we ought to do some kind of challenge. Let's see, because this knife handle is so different, I, I want to see if you'd be able to pick this out in a lineup, in a blind taste test. I, yep, yep. Uh, well, <laughs> Field the, test. the numbers in Vegas have me by a landslide. I got this. Yeah, I that's guarantee probably easy. I can pull this out of a, but out let's, of a, let's do it. I say we go ahead and try this. Let's see <laughs> fine, what we can do. Fine, let's do it. <laughs> when we unbox the all new Hellfire Series Scorpion 8 inch chef's knife from Dahlstrong, I had thrown down the gauntlet. Yes. This, we were blown away with how amazing this knife was yeah. that I issued a challenge to Brett that Which he, I gladly accepted, <laughs> by the way. I said, I bet you couldn't pick that out of a lineup of Dahlstrong all strong knives, which was the most ridiculous challenge I could have made because this thing's incredible and I think it yes. is a standout yes. with the design, with the resin handle, with the way it feels in the hand. Yep. But we're going to do a blindfold challenge. Brett, Yes. I challenge you and I stand by it. And I, again, I and, stand. And the I, millions of dollars with which we have placed this bet. Correct, <laughs> yes. All, all, the, all the, the coin. All right, so here's how this is going to work. I'm going to get behind the camera. I'm going to come and I'm going to hand Brett a knife. Handle first, make sure that we don't <laughs> cut some fingers. I'm going to be blindfolded, so this my trust is all on Adam. But we just want to see if Brett will be able to tell which knife is the scorpion. <laughs> I have lots of confidence in this one. I have zero confidence in this guy. All right, so we're gonna switch angles here and let's get to the challenge. Help me get this on first. Let's do this. All right, so <laughs> we've got Brett here with the blindfold on and then down here we've got our scorpion knife. We've got the Shogun Series butcher knife. We've got a Valhalla here. And basically what I want to do is just see if Brett can figure out which is which. So I'm going to reach down and I'm going to hand him a knife and then he's going to have to tell me whether it is the scorpion or not. Brett, here we go. Your first knife hand out. Here's your first knife. That is? That is the, from the Quantum Series. That is not it. Uh-huh. All right. He's already zero for one. <laughs> all right. Now, I, the, the goal isn't that I happen to know all of them, right? I just have to know which, if it's yes, a scorpion or there not. there you okay. go. Okay, gotcha. shake my hand. My guy. My guy. This is a Shogun, am I right? Okay, which knife? <laughs> I don't want to go up. I'm, guess, I'm guessing the butcher knife. <laughs> you can't tell by the blade? Okay. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's, uh, okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Oh, this is Vanquish. Which one? Sentoku, I'm <laughs> guessing. <laughs> All right. Let's really throw him off here. Oh, he has to think about it. Oh. Valhalla? Mm, maybe. Which one? I'm just kidding. <laughs> is, am I right? <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right, let's see if he's gonna figure this out. Are you shuffling knives? I yes. can't see, it doesn't matter. <laughs> well, all right, here we go. And. Ooh. 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 Shogun? Is that not it? This is not it. You don't think it's it? No. Weird, okay, okay. <laughs> Weird. Do. Let's see here. Let's try this one here. That's it. 
Are you sure? I'm 100% sure. That is mm -hmm. that is I, my scorpion knife right I'm there. really surprised you got it so wrong. No, I didn't. I can tell. <laughs> I know this knife. Even though I just opened it, I know this knife. Yeah, the thing is we've become so familiar. But Brett, tell me what it is about this knife that feels different than how you knew it right away. Uh, first of all, it does have a little bit thicker, just a slightly thicker uh, handle than the Shogun series. The, okay. when, I, when you hand me the Shogun at first, I thought that was it. The catch-all was... The, the little catch right here on mm -hmm. the pinky. But um, even before I, I got that, I just had the feeling it's light with weight, if that makes sense. Sure. But, um, and then a, a little quick slide up here on to feel the, the design on the blade. Uh, um, that, the that, etching that on the blade? It, I mean, yeah, exactly. That, right. that, that was- uh, I realize I am holding the camera very close to you with a blindfold on while you're wielding a knife. <laughs> All right, go ahead and take the blindfold off. See if you're right. Oh, I'm right. <laughs> the shocker. Surprise, I told you I would get it. So as proven here, this was a relatively easy challenge and we it, knew it, it would was, be, it really was. but it was still fun to watch Brett. I was more impressed the fact that he really nailed just about every knife. In fact, you did nail every single oh, knife. Geez. The only one you couldn't remember, this, you did figure it was the Santoku rather than the, the Vanquish chef. chef's knife. They all do feel unique, but one thing that I that I really love about about the doll strong knives, and I've said this before, is uh, they all feel so great in the hand. In fact, talking to a, to a, a friend at doll strong, they were like, "Well, a lot of people like to figure what they like best, so sometimes it's, it's best to try a few." I've got to tell you, I love them all. Yeah, they, now, absolutely. Now that scorpion, like you had said, it feels so unique and so completely different. Yep. And with what you were saying, it is a little bit lighter yep. while feeling completely more than adequate. Yes. Like it's got <laughs> lighter, the weight that you need. Lighter with weight. Yeah, it's so incredible. It's seems like you can do so much with this knife. In you fact, can. it was so funny when Brett first saw this knife, the first words out of his mouth were, yep, that's my new favorite knife. <laughs> just by looking at it, but partly because the Dahlstrong knives have proven their worth over yep. and over again yep. to us, and we love the Dahlstrong products. They are completely durable. They chop and slice and dice through anything. Yep. We've never had any issues or concerns with zero. With one single knife. Absolutely zero. Every now and then, just use a honing, honing rod and uh, eventually get a sharpener. Yeah. Maybe once a year, have to sharpen yeah. them. But other than that, these Well, depending things, on how often you're using them. Correct. Well, we go, and we, we use them all. Be like, okay, I'm gonna make up some wings. We're gonna cut them, uh, so which one do I wanna use today? It really comes down to flavor of the yeah. week, right? Which one we're gonna Correct, use. Correct, exactly. The Doll Strong products are some of our absolute favorite. It has been an absolute honor to get to use them. It, it is something that anybody asks us what knives we're using, it is always without hesitation, Doll, Doll Strong. Strong. Yep. We've uh, recommended it to friends, to families, to viewers, to everybody that we talk to, yep. because we are completely hyped on these because yep. we absolutely love them. One of the best compliments we get are when people buy the knives, like our friend Jason Benson from Benson Farms, when he came down, we let him actually cut and use uh, yes. a Doll Strong knife and he said it's so crazy to watch you guys do this on your channel but then to actually hold it in my hand and use it myself he bought he went home and bought a Dow Strong knife that say, well, the yep. next day when he went home he showed us he says he absolutely loves it and it still it still holds true it's and just it's, as sharp as, as the first day right it's gonna be more to come and we have others a uh, good friend uh, John Collins who said you know when he got his first Dow Strong I think he got a set uh -huh. he said he got the one set expecting it would last him he said not only has it lasted but I love the knife so much I bought another set uh, of a different series because like us, he loves the many series they yep. offer. And there really is so many different knives and sometimes it becomes about which one are we gonna use today because they're so spectacular. But we absolutely love the Dollstrong products. They're amazing and you've gotta check them out.